What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. We're here with Drew today. We've got a 2020 hatchback Corolla. Hatchback Corolla. And we're gonna be installing a Remark Catback exhaust on it. Um, so first things first, we're gonna get a stock startup cold start. Or oh, this is a warm start right now, right? Actually, it's not that warm. Not that warm? Okay, semi cold start. And we'll get an audio clip for that. So this is going to be a pretty standard install. We're just going to jack up the car real quick, um, figure out what we need to unbolt. It's supposed to be what, two flanges? Basically, yeah. Two flanges, probably four bolts, and uh, quick and easy install. All right, so first glance underneath the car, we've got a hanger on either side got another hanger there one up there and then just one flange with two looks like 15 millimeter bolts So we got the factory exhaust off. It's over here. Obviously it's a new car, so not too much to see here, um, but we're gonna go ahead and get the other one ready. All right, so we got the new exhaust out here. As you can see, we already put the old hangers on it. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this exhaust together before installing it. Just from my experience, it's usually easier to bolt stuff together on the outside of the car than underneath. So gonna go ahead and do that. Only thing to note is one side is flat and that's for this flange gasket. The other side is concave and that is for the donut gasket that is on the cap. Yeah, so again, we got 14 mil bolts. Uh, got a ratchet here and a wrench. <laughs> probably end up tightening that up a little more underneath the car but for now it's all seated and we'll go ahead and throw it in So fitment on this exhaust is awesome, right up, uh, no issues. Looks sweet. Um, one of the main features right through is that you don't have to cut holes in your bumper for this exhaust, right? Exactly, yeah. The other one, you have to take out the exhaust, uh, the fake exhaust tips, and then you have to grind down your bumper to actually get them to fit and not melt it. Yeah, so this is nice, especially um, when you're trying not to devalue a car. We're gonna go ahead and start the car up, check for leaks, and you'll get the audio clip. All right, uh, check for any leaks. Now we're gonna lower down the car and um, we'll get a flyby.
It's not actually that raspy. No? It sounds pretty good. I told you it's good quality for five ninety five. Yeah, I mean it sounds pretty good. Uh, I mean you heard the crackles and pops when you were when you were revving it over there. That sounded sweet. Uh, <laughs> not bad for a four cylinder. Just the right amount of rice. We're gonna see what it sounds like inside the car. It sounds good in here. Yeah, it's quiet. <laughs> Wear your seatbelts, kids. <laughs> Holy, that's so loud. Yeah. Oh, perfect. They're setting up a speed camera for us. <laughs> Now we get to see how fast we're going. That's really not bad at all. Oh, but outside it's freaking loud, isn't it? Yeah. You got any mods planned for this other than that? Maybe some wheels or something? RGB headlights, uh, factory alloy rims. I'm gonna get a uh, factory spoiler here and move that little thing on top of it. I don't know, that looks pretty factory to me. <laughs> 20 horsepower right there. And I'm also gonna get a bigger antenna for my CB radio there. Yeah, definitely need a bigger antenna. Are you gonna get a bigger duct too? I, I might. But it might not be able to handle all the wind, you know. Oh, that's true. that thing almost flies off all the way. <laughs> cool. All right, guys, just a quick little install for you today. Hope you enjoyed it, uh, and I'll catch you next time.